Hello everyone, welcome to Swiss Technologies YouTube channel. In previous classes, we have seen some concepts of basics of Docker, like how to create a container, how to enter into container, like something like that. Now, today we are going to see uh, what is Docker Swarm. Okay, and of course, why do we need this Docker Swarm? Before Docker Swarm came into the picture, uh, here, Docker will be there. And inside the Docker, you might be creating some containers like uh, container one, two, three, and so on. And you might be having some up to 100 containers in your Docker environment. And here, suppose due to some reasons, this container is going down. Okay, only if one user is accessing your application, then that's okay. Suppose your application is accessed by some thousands of users. So due to a huge traffic, what will be happening? The containers may go crashed and your application will not be available to users. So to address all this issue, Docker came in with one small concept called Docker Swarm. It is almost similar to Kubernetes, but there are some problems with this. And we can discuss all those things uh, in deep once if you join in this uh, Swiss Technologies Institute. Okay, fine. Let us see what is Docker Swarm here. This is a Docker manager, or we can call it as Docker host. By default, if you install Docker, that itself will be a manager or host. And of course, I'm taking two nodes. Node 1 and Node 2. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to initialize Docker here. Okay. And here, before going to proceed entire process, here, uh, I can have different, different nodes and manager, Node 1, Node 2. In all the machines or in all the servers, we have to initialize Docker or we have to install Docker and then we have to enable the Docker. And here, fine. Docker Swarm main purpose is we can create containers in all the nodes. Okay, suppose in previous example, we have taken 100 containers. So instead of creating all 100 containers in one Docker uh, manager or Docker host only, what we are going to do, we are going to create, uh, we are using concept of Docker Swarm and we are going to create many nodes. Okay, you can, in real time, you might be having some 100 nodes also. Okay, for example, I have taken only node one and node two. So here uh, we are going to distribute all the containers in all of these nodes. Suppose something like, you know, uh, 30 nodes in this node one and, you know, something like uh, 30 nodes in this node two. And even in Docker manager or Docker host also, we can create 30 nodes. Something like this, we can distribute containers in all the nodes. Okay, so due to some huge unexpected traffic, uh, suppose one node is going crash, even though we can able to access the application in other nodes, even this is also going down. Okay, so we can able to access our application in master. That's why we are making master as some worker node. We will call it as worker nodes here. Even master also, even in master also, we are going to create containers so that we can reach high availability. Okay, fine. Let's see this thing entire hands-on. So for example, I have taken only master or manager, we will call it as in Docker terminology. We cannot call it as master. Fine, here I have one node. Okay, this is my master and this is my node. First, let me, I have already installed Docker here and I have enabled the Docker. If you want to know whether Docker is installed or not, you can simply say Docker. Yes, if you could able to see this, then you can install Docker. Even here also, I have installed Docker. Or else you can even see the version, docker V. See, it is showing uh, 25.0.3 version. And same command I'm going to execute even in master also. See, Docker has been installed. And I have enabled Docker in both the servers. Fine. What I'm going to do, I'm going to initialize Docker Swam in master. See, among all the 100 nodes, you can take any one node as master. Okay. So, any one node as master and remaining all nodes as we can treat as worker node. Okay. So, here I'm 
considering this IP address, you can remember this IP address, I'm considering it as a master. Okay, here in tab also I have specified this is master and here it is a no. So let me initialize the Docker Swarm here. For that command is Docker Swarm init for initializing the Docker Swarm. First we have to initialize and then we have to, uh, you know, we have to uh, get connection from these master to node. Okay. Uh, fine. Let me press enter. Once after initializing the Docker Swarm in master, so here it is going to generate one token here. Okay, this token we have to execute in all the nodes. Okay, if you have some hundreds of nodes, yes, in all the hundreds of nodes, we have to execute this uh, specific token. Okay, so that here it is a kind of cluster, I can say. Docker Swarm is a kind of cluster. So, uh, before that, let me execute uh, how many nodes are there here. Let me see how many nodes are there in my master right now. For that command is docker node ls. See, I have only one node. Let me decrease the font a little. Let me decrease a little. Fine. See, I have one node only that is master and it is active. Okay. Fine. Now, here already I have initialized Docker. Let me execute the same command in nodes. So, just copy this and execute the command in this. Let me remove the space for avoiding the errors. See, here it is saying that this node joined a swarm as a worker. That means here it is a Docker cluster. I can say that this entire part is a Docker cluster. Okay, in this Docker cluster, I am making one node as a master and another node as uh, nodes. Okay, fine. Now, here, let me uh, execute this command, docker node ls. Here, it is telling that we cannot execute this command in the node. Why? Because it is just a worker node. That's why it is showing that error response from daemon. It is not a spam manager. Okay, fine. Now, what I want to do? Here, if I do Docker node ls here, I can see that previously I could see only leader. Now, I can able to see one node has been joined. Okay. So, leader is nothing but master here. And of course, you can see the star. Where the star represents that node IP address will become a master. So, this is the node IP address and of course, it is a master. In this way, we can make any nodes to join. And of course, in real time, even this master is also going down. Then again, uh, high availability, we cannot reach. So, what we are going to do here is in real time, you will be having some hundreds of nodes. Among all the hundreds of nodes, we will make more than one master. So, how to make the master here? How to make the master? If you want to make the master, what you have to do? Uh, you can say that Docker promote. I want to make this node as master. Just copy this ID here and paste here. That's all. Uh, just a moment. Sorry, Docker node promote. I have just simply said uh, Docker promote. You have to say Docker node promote and then you can specify the node ID. Okay, so this ID, whichever the node you want to make it as, uh, you know, master. Okay, press, press center. See, it is telling that this specific node has been promoted to a manager. Okay, fine. Let me execute this command here. Docker node ls. Now I can able to execute this command. Suppose if you want to demote, what you have to do? Simply I can say docker node demote. So that this node has been not a part of, I mean, this is not a master. Okay, even now you cannot execute this command docker node ls here. See, it is telling that this is not a part of Docker Swarm Manager. 
Okay. So this is the way we can make more than one nodes as master. So what will be happen if we are going to deploy some applications inside the nodes and as well as inside the masters, we are going to create containers and we are going to deploy many applications and we are going to access all these applications here. Okay, fine. Suppose what I want, I don't want this node to be a part of this swarm cluster. Then what I can say here, I can simply say that you just come to the specific node, whichever you don't want, make it as part of cluster. You can execute this command like docker uh, swarm leaf. So node left from the swarm. So it is not at all a part of this swarm cluster. So if I execute docker node ls here, it is telling node is down. Okay, this is the way we can remove the node and we can add the node whenever you require. Again, if you want to add this node into the swarm cluster, if you want to make this node into a part of spam cluster, then again, you have to execute uh, this command, this token. Okay, you just uh, save this token in some notepad and all so that whenever you want to make a part of um, swarm cluster, you can make any nodes a part of swarm cluster by executing the same command in all the multiple nodes. So we are going to deploy many applications and we are going to access all these applications. If you want to know further more details about this concept, please do subscribe this channel, share this channel to your friends and do join in Swiss Technologies.